and all the planning and preparation for a big trip, probably the last thing on your mind is the fact that at some point while you're traveling, you might get a little bit tired of traveling. I've definitely been there before, so today I just wanna share some tips and tricks to help you avoid burning out while you're traveling. My first tip is to simply travel for less time. My longest solo trip was three months alone in Europe, and to be completely honest with you, I think you know, two instead of three months probably would have been the ideal amount of time for my trip. The amount of time that you're comfortable traveling is gonna vary for everybody. I think the main thing is just giving yourself permission to cut your trip a little bit shorter. If you're not sure exactly how long you wanna travel, maybe just buy a one-way ticket. That way you do have the option of leaving whenever you feel like it's time to head back home. I think it's ideal to stop traveling while you're still you know, kind of itching for more. That way, when you do go back home, you're motivated to go on another trip rather than just feeling a little bit burnt out and jaded from the last experience. I think too, it's good to just take a few days and not make a hasty decision before just flying home. You know, there are naturally ups and downs emotionally for people. And so giving yourself time just to kind of write it out and just see if you get to a different headspace is a good idea as well. But yeah, it's okay to come home whenever you want to come home. You know, it's your trip. Do it is gonna be best for you in the long run. My next tip is to simply bring someone with you while you're traveling. You can definitely still burn out when you're traveling with a loved one, but I think huge benefit of traveling with someone else is that you can split the burden of all the day-to-day -day planning. You know, booking hostels, figuring out when your train leaves, all the day-to-day -day activities, staying on top of all that stuff and managing all of that, it can start to take its toll after a few weeks. So just having two people to help manage that helps you stay in a better headspace and just stay more relaxed and enjoy the time that you have to travel. My next tip is to plan a vacation within your vacation. Pick a place and be intentional about staying there for just a few days and just kind of take all the burdens off of, you know, what you're doing and what you're gonna see. My wife and I recently traveled to Peru. It was only about a nine day trip, but by the end of it, we were both feeling really exhausted. So we just stayed a few extra days in a little oasis town that was really cool. That was exactly what we needed in the moment, just to recuperate. And I'm really glad I did that because on my way back from Peru, I got food poisoning and so I was throwing up the entire way home. And I think that would have been a lot worse if I was already depleted of energy from just traveling nonstop. Plan a vacation within your vacation. You won't regret it. My next tip to avoid burnout is to simply stay connected with your friends and family at home. While you're traveling, it's really easy to forget to just take a couple of minutes and call your family or call your friends. I recommend being very intentional about this. This means a lot to them, but it also just helps to refuel you emotionally and helps you stay grounded in the experience experience of what you're doing. Another tip for avoiding burnout is to remember that your time traveling is limited and it will inevitably come to an end. Keeping that in mind can help you get out there and seize the day and enjoy every moment because like I said, it will definitely come to an end. My next tip is to simply slow down. However long your trip is, over cramming it with activities is gonna lead to burnout. I think it's better just to take your time in each country, plan a couple extra days so that you can get off the beaten path, explore and really get to know a country in more depth before moving on. Another benefit of really milking each country for all it's worth is that you'll spend less time having to deal with planes and trains and cars and buses. All of those things can eat into your traveling time and the more different places you see, the more you're going to have to deal with transportation and hours that you could be using to, you know, actually explore a country. Another way you can avoid burnout is by taking the pressure off of yourself of having to see everything in every city that you go to. Depending on where you're traveling, there could be tons of tourist attractions for you to check out. Trying to see all of those in the time that you have may just not be realistic and it also might not be very budget friendly. So I recommend just picking the main things you want to see and then not feeling guilty about not seeing every single little thing. If it's really important to you, you can always come back and check it out in the future. But in the time that you do have, it's important to make the most of it and prioritize the things that are important to you. Another thing that's very important for avoiding burnout especially if you're traveling alone, is making connections with people. There's nothing worse than traveling to an incredible country, but not being able to enjoy it simply because you're just really lonely and you miss back home and you haven't been able to build some good connections with people. So I recommend planning on putting yourself out there. If you're an introvert like me, watch some videos about how to 
you know, start conversations or make friends with people. I would say the main thing is just focus on the person in front of you, making them feel comfortable and appreciated. When you do that, you'll feel a lot better yourself and be able to make those connections. I've covered this topic in some of my other videos, and so you can check those out if you want more specific tips for ways that I found I could connect with people the best while I was traveling. My next tip to avoid burnout is to simply show kindness to other people while you're traveling. It's very easy to become self-absorbed just with your own needs and what you're doing. That being said, being intentional about remembering the needs of others and taking time to care for them, that'll just keep you in a better headspace overall. So what is your next trip? Where are you going and how long are you going? I'd love to hear about it. You can just leave it down in the comments below. My wife and I just bought tickets to Iceland and so we're really excited for that. But thank you guys for watching as always. If you enjoyed this channel, you can help it out by giving me a thumbs up so this video gets pushed out to more people and subscribe if you haven't already. But I will see you guys in the next video. Video.